this is the watchdog and welcome back to Fuzz Watches. If watches weren't fun, you'd only need one. Today we're going to review the Cadison 8053. Let's start off the wrist check. I'm wearing another Cadison, the 8032. And Greg was wearing my Amimo 9067. Greg was said Han Solo is upset. He said Princess Leia told him he's getting too old to play Independence Jones in the movies and he should pass on the role to a younger actor. He pointed his finger at her and said, you are only as old as you feel. She said, and you're starting to feel kind of pruny. All right, let's take a look at the watch. Comes in this typical Cadison box. And here it is. An homage to the Rolex Datejust with the fluted bezel and the Jubilee bracelet. Or should I say J-style bracelet. And yes, they make a date just without the fluted bezel or J-style bracelet. But when you think date just, that's what you think. At least that's what I think anyway. I've had a dozen or so Cadisons on my channel. And they have all been decent watches for the money. They're a mid-tier watch company in the same league as Pagani Design and Corjo, But a step below San Martin and Kronos. Unlike Pagani Design, Cadison is more likely to use the Miyota 8215 on their automatic watches. And since this one says 21 joules on the dial, they kind of have to use it. This is an homage to the Rolex Date Just, which was the first watch to have a date complication. The Date Just is Rolex's most popular watch, but the Date Just is kind of a conundrum as having a date is no longer anything special. But because of the Date Just, they don't put a date on the basic Oyster Perpetual because otherwise it would be a Date Just. Except for the 34mm OP, but since it is the millhouse of Rolexes, we won't count that. This watch comes in three colorways. If you don't like the blue I chose, there's also a black. If you want a little flare, there's a black two-tone. Not sure why they don't make a blue two-tone. Seems like a missed opportunity. The watch is 38 millimeters wide. 46.4 millimeters lug to lug with inverted end links. It's only 11.5 millimeters thick, which is pretty good. Whenever you have an automatic less than 12, that's always good. 20 millimeter lug width, which tapers down to 16 at the clasp. It weighs 117 grams on the supply bracelet with three links removed. The bezel is fluted, and like I said, you can get a Rolex date just without a fluted bezel, but usually these homage ones always have fluted because that's just what people think. Then we have the dial. The dial has a nice sunburst effect, really pleasant color of blue. Then it says Cadison Automatic up top. And then it says 5 ATM Waterproof. It always, should always say water resistant, not waterproof, but oh well. And then it says 21 Joules, because we have a Miyota 8215. Miyotas have 21 Joules. If this was an NH35, the, this would be 24 Joules. So they're kind of locked into Miyota with the same 21 Joules there. Then we have the applied indices. We have single batons everywhere. And then we have the stick hands with a very thin loom strip. And then we have the needle second hand, which is not loomed. Then we have the data three with the Cyclops. And the Cyclops doesn't do that good of a job of magnifying. Kind of disappointing there. So I always, a lot of people don't like a Cyclops, but I say if you're going to have one, then have one. And this one is kind of a lackluster. Then we have the sign push-pull crown. Really no need uh, for a screw down when you only have 5 ATM water resistance. And the nice thing is uh, if you have a watch collection like I do, and you'll need to wind your watch now and then. And so you can just wind it without unscrewing it. So that's nice. And then you can set it without unscrewing it too. Then we have the crystal. The crystal is a flat sapphire. I don't know if it has AR coating or not, but it seems to do a good enough job not reflecting. And then we have the case. The case is just perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with it. We have polished sides, brush tops. And circularly brush bottoms. It's just your oyster style case. I like it. And then we have the case back. The case back's a display case back. It says sapphire crystal. 
If it's the model number, 5 ATM water resistant, and it says Cadison. And as you can see, this is a coin edge screw down. So I uh, checked the tool, and you're going to need a 32.5 millimeter tool to open this case back. It would have been nice if they would have had slots for a more conventional tool. But then again, it does look nice. Underneath the case back is the Miyota 8215. This is a 21 Joule 3 Hertz movement that hand winds, hacks. The 21, the 8250 never used to hack, but lately they've been hacking now. And it has a unidirectional rotor, not a bidirectional. So that means it spins freely in one direction. Here, let me spin it. See? Unidirectional rotor. So that means you can hear and feel the rotor spinning on you a lot. It doesn't bother me. It bothers some people, though. So let's go ahead and put it on the time grapher and see how this one is doing. Here it is on the time grapher. As you can see, it's running two seconds fast. So it's doing very well. And there's no beat error. So this one is running spot on. No complaints here healthy amplitude so very happy with how this one's running the bracelet is a five link j style we have brush sides and polished center and the edges are polished too we have push pin adjusters not screw pins i'm perfectly happy with push pins i just think they're easier i also didn't mention we have solid end links and then we have a butterfly clasp. Uh, unfortunately, a butterfly clasp just makes uh, adjusting it a pain. Yes, these are small links, so you can't get the perfect fit. But if your wrist shrinks or swells and you need, you need to put a link in or take a link out, you can't just adjust it on the fly. But it's a nice looking clasp. It's a nice looking bracelet and it's not too wobbly so happy with the bracelet once again when i think date just i think jubilee bracelet so here's the watch of my seven and a half inch wrist i think that looks nice wears nice sits nice and flat jubilee bracelets are always very comfortable because they really articulate really conform to the wrist I removed three links, so you'll be able to wear this by eight and a quarter. You'll need more links if your wrist is bigger. But yeah, that's a very nice looking watch. Here we are on the loom room. Just wearing the watch for review purposes gave me no indication that the loom would be any good and nobody gets a date just homage for the loom anyway. As we speed up the time, we see a green glow and the indices aren't awful, but the loom on the hands is super thin and doesn't have much life and are already about gone. This is not good loom at all. What do I like about this watch? Well, it looks and wears great. The 8215 movement is running spot on. And I really like the blue sunburst dial. What are my gripes and groans? The Cyclops barely magnifies. It has really lackluster loom, and it has a coinage case back, so if you want to open it, you need a special tool. Do I recommend this watch? Sure. This watch looks and wears great and is reasonably priced, so if you need to add a date just style watch to your collection, this one should suit you just fine. Well, thank you for watching my review of the Cadison 8053, and I'll be back with an unboxing. I got some more stuff in the mail today. Be sure and like and subscribe to my channel. And if you like this watch, be sure to use my affiliate link and I'll get a small commission. Bye.